Eyes. The youngest was just two years old, the oldest, a 50 year old mother. It's now been four days since the tragedy took the lives of those devoted loved ones, college students, and friends. A memorial has been set up nearby to remember those who were lost. CBS News John D. It is a test. Mike this morning. Yes, it is a test. It is a test. Today, the whole community is shaken because we lost brothers and sisters. We lost loved ones. The community is shaking. We lost loved ones, brothers. Sarah Jenny, 27 year old woman. Sedu Toure, 12 year old boy. Brothers and sisters, some of them are students from this masjid. Haji Dukure, 49 year old man. Hawa Muhammadu, five-year-old girl. Haja Dukure, 37-year-old woman. Mustafa Dukure, 12-year-old boy. Mariam Dukure, an 11-year-old girl. Fatumata Dukure, a five-year-old girl. Fatumata Drame, a 50-year-old woman. Fatumata Drame, Fatumala Drabe, 9, 21-year-old woman. Muhammad Drame, 12-year-old boy. Numaisha Drame, a 19-year-old woman. Umar Jamba, 9-year-old boy. Fatumata Tunkara, a 43-year-old woman. The heart is shaking. The heart is shaking. We lost them from an apartment fire. Brother and my dear sister, it is a test. It is a test. The eyes is shedding tears. The eyes is shedding tears. And the heart is grieved. But subhanAllah, as believers, the only thing we say is what pleases Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajaun. Allahumma radina. Allahumma radina. Ya Allah, we have accepted. Ya Allah, we are pleased by your judgment. We love them, but you love them more than us. Kullu nafsin maut. وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ وَنَبَلُوكُمْ بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ فِتْنَةِ They are gone. And brother, no matter what happened that day, they will not pass that day in, on this earth. Didn't you hear? قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْ this death that you are running away from, some of them died on the hallways. You heard that. Why? Because they were running from death. Tell them, this death that you are running away from, it will meet you. The messenger of Allah said, and a person who burned who is burned to death is a martyr. Ya Allah. The one who is burned to, to death is a martyr. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alladhi lam yattakhidh waladan wa lam yakul lahu sharikun fil mulk. Wa ma kana ma'ahu min ilah. المستحق لجميع أنواع العبادة ولذا قضى ألا نعبد إلا إياه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في أرضه وسمائه وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه
وعلى اله وصحبه الاتقياء البرره وعلى من هدى هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم الى يوم الدين وبعد my dear brother and my dear sister الله is al-baqi the ever ever lasting Allah Allah is al-baqi the ever enduring Allah Allah is al-baqi the one who existed before all creations and who will remain after all this creation has come and gone i repeat allah is al baqi the ever lasting the one who existed before all creations and who will remain after all this creation has come and gone allah al baqi allah is al baqi the one who remains forever allah he is al baqi the one who remains forever unaffected by time allah qalu inna amanna bi rabbina liyaghfir lana khatayana وَمَا أَكْرَهْتَنَا عَلَيْهِ مِنَ السِّحْرِ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى Allah is better and more lasting Allah is better and immortal Allah is better and ever lasting Allah He is one I bear witness He is one in His kingdom and he deserves absolutely no doubt about it he deserves to be worshiped alone and i bear with us our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is allah's last and final messenger he said arrahimuna yarhamuhum arrahman irhamu man fil ardi yarhamkum man fis sama the merciful are shown mercy by the most merciful so have mercy on people and the one above will have mercy on you this is the message of our beloved prophet muhammad to the whole world arrahimun yarhamhum arrahman if you want allah to show mercy on you to have mercy on you then have mercy on others have mercy on those on earth and allah the one above will have mercy on you This is the message of the final messenger Muhammadur Rasulullah. I pray may Allah increase his love in our heart and may we meet him in Jannah. My brother. And my dear sister. It is a test. Yes, it is a test. It is a test. Today the whole community is shaken. because we lost brothers and sisters we lost loved ones the community is shaken we lost loved ones brothers sarah jenny 27 year old woman said to re 12 year old boy brothers and sisters some of them are students from this masjid haji dukure 49 year old man hawa muhammadu 5 year old girl haja dukure 37 year old woman mustafa dukure 12 year old boy mariam dukure an 11 year old girl Fatuma Tadukure a 5 year old girl Fatuma Tadrame a 50 year old woman Fatuma Tadrame Fatuma la Drabe 21 year old woman Muhammad Drame 12 year old boy Numaisha Drame a 19 year old woman 
Umar Jamba, nine-year-old boy, Fatumata Tunkara, a 43-year-old woman. The heart is shaking. The heart is shaking. We lost them from an apartment fire. Brother and my dear sister, it is a test. It is a test. In the line at Tedma, the eyes is shedding tears. The eyes is shedding tears. Well, Kalba Yahzen, and the heart is grieved. But subhanAllah, as believers, the only thing we say is what pleases Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajaun. Allahumma radina. Allahumma radina. Ya Allah, we have accepted. Ya Allah, we are pleased by your judgment. We love them, but you love them more than us. It is a test, my dear brothers and sisters in faith. And we shall test you. Be shayim min al khawfi wal with something of fear and hunger. Wa naqasim min al amwal and loss of wealth. Wa al anfus and souls as we lost loved ones, brothers and sisters. Wa thamarat and fruits. Wa bashir and give good news to the patient. And give glad tidings to the patient. Those who when struck by a calamity, they say, We belong to Allah. And to him we shall return. It is a test. It is a test, brother. It is a test. They are gone. It is a test. And we shall test you with evil and good. And to us, you will return. And to us, you will be returned. And to us, you will be brought back. And we shall test you with evil conditions and good atmosphere. And to us, you will be brought back. Brother, and my dear sister, it is a test. It is a test. We are good. Tabarak al-lazhi biyadihi al-mulk wa huwa ala kulli shayun qadeem al-lazhi khalaq al-mawt wal-haya liyabaluakum ayyukum ahsan wa'amala It is a test. It is a test. ليبلوكم. He created الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم. The one who created death and life ليبلوكم. So as to try you ليبلوكم. So as to test you أيكم as of which of you أحسن عملا is good indeed. It is a test. We have been tested. It is a test, brother. They are gone, but they are back to Allah. 
they have returned to Kuba. وَإِلَيْنَا تُرْجَعُونَ ثُمَّ إِلَيْنَا تُرْجَعُونَ And to him, we will all be brought, we will all return. They are gone. The heart is shaking. They are gone. They are taken by Al-Hakim. Remember this. Allah, the one who took them is Al-Hakim, the most wise. Allah. They are taken by Al-Hakim, the one who has perfect wisdom. Allah. The one who has perfect wisdom. He took them. And we say, Allahumma radina. Allah, we accept. Allah, we trust. We believe in you. Whatever you do is the best. We know. We love them. The families love them. We love them as a community. And you love them more. And yours is the best. Ya Allah, radina. Allahumma radina. Allah. We have accepted. Brother, they are gone, but it's good. It is a test. Qala Rasulullah. An Suhaibin Qal. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ajaban li amri al-mu'min. Inna amrahu kullahu khayr. How amazing is the case of the believer. How wonderful is the case of the believer. How and beautiful is the case of the believer inna amrahu kullahu khair everything about him all his case is good wa laysa dhalika li ahadin illa lil mu'min and this applies only to a believer in asabathu sarra'u shakara the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in asabathu sarra'u shakara whenever when good things attains him in asabathu sarra'u when prosperity attends him shakara he thanks allah he thanks allah he shows gratitude to allah fakana khayran lah and that is good for him wa in asabathu darra'u sabara and when he is afflicted with calamity when something bad happened to him he endures it patiently and there is good for him in it because the one who is testing is al hakim there is wisdom behind it and we are believers we are believers he tested us he took them away from the family from the community from the loved ones but we know absolutely that he is Al-Hakim. He is the most wise. He has the perfect wisdom. And whatever Allah does is the best. So Allah, Radina, Allah, we have accepted. We are pleased by your judgment, Ya Allah. This is the case of a believer. As the messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, everything about the believer is good. Whatever happened to the believer is good. So yes, we lost them. Yes, we love them. Yes, the heart is shaking. Yes, the eyes is shedding tears. But subhanallah, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. My brothers. And to the family. Our message to the family. Please, if you are listening to me right now, or you will listen wherever you are. Please. I know. You lost your mother. You lost your father. You lost your auntie. You lost your sister. You lost your uncle. You lost your friend. You lost your cousin. You lost a loved one. Say. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We belong to Allah. And to him. We shall return. Allahumma radina. Allah, we have accepted. Say that Allah is watching you. Allah is looking into your heart. Allah knows why He took them and that's good for them, inshallah. You lost them. 
But brother, Ahsinu dhanna billah. Think positive of Allah. Always, whatever happened to you in life, my dear sister, the families of our sisters and brothers who passed away, please be patient. Be patient. Think positive of Allah. Think positive of Allah. They are gone. Yes, they are gone. But inshallah, we will all meet them in Jannah, inshallah. They are gone. I know you lost your mother. I know you lost your father. I know you lost your sister. But brother, listen to this message from our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Yes, you lost your mother. But I know you love the Prophet more than you do to your blood, more than you love your mother. I know that. This is Iman. Now I'm speaking to you with Iman. And I'm speaking to the believer. I know sincerely. Yes, you are affected. You have been afflicted with calamity. We have been, we have been afflicted by a calamity. But you know, we know as believers, we love the prophet more than anything. I know you lost your father. But I know you love the prophet more. I know you love your father, you love your mother, your auntie, your sister. Yes, but the prophet is more dearer to you. And the prophet said to tell you, إِذَا أُصِيبَ أَحَدُكُمْ بِمُصِيبَةٍ فَلْيَذْكُرْ مُصِيبَتَهُ بِي فَإِنَّهَا أَعْظَمُ الْمَصَائِبِ إِنَّهَا So Dr. Ya Rasulullah, this is only to the believer. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if any of you is being struck by a calamity, shaking, he, he should remember his calamity by me. I know. If they tell you to give everything up to see the Prophet Muhammad, you will do. Because you love him. Because I love him. You love him. We love him. More than anything, if we were to give everything up to see our beloved prophet, to stand before him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we will do. He said, if something big shakes you, something happened to you, he said, remember my death. That will cool your temper. You love me more than anything, but Allah took me. So by remembering the big calamity, which is the death of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it will calm you down. So this is to the believer. This I'm talking to the families, to those affected, to the community. Yes, they are gone. Yes, we love them. But brother, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whenever something big happened to us, whenever a calamity strikes, we should remember his absence. That his death is the biggest and the greatest calamity. Muhammadun Rasulullah. So brother and my dear sister. Yes we lost them. They are gone. But let's make dua. And be patient. And as for our brothers and sisters. They are gone because... وَلَنْ يُؤَخِّرَ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهَا Allah never delays any soul when its time has come. You know that. وَلَنْ يُؤَخِّرَ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهَا Allah will not respite any, any soul. Allah will not delay any soul when the time has come for it to go. That's why they are gone. They are gone because they are gone they are gone because every soul is bound to test to taste death they are gone because every soul shall taste death 
they are gone because every soul will die we will all perish whoever is on this earth will perish one day whoever is on this earth will fade one day brothers death is one well as it's only one death but the means of the death how to die how people are going to die is different people are going to die in different ways this is how allah accepted them and we pray may he accept them they are gone because they are gone and brother no matter what happened that day they will not pass that day in, on this earth didn't you hear this death that you are running away from some of them died on the hallways you heard that why because they were running from death tell them this death that you are running away from it will meet you as the death met them on their hallways some of them as the death met them in their rooms didn't you hear allah again surah nisa wherever you are death will overcome you wherever you are death will take you wherever you are death will find you out listen to allah even if you are in a fortified towers even if you are in a well protected towers even if you are in a well protected towers when death comes it will get you they are gone and it is a test it is a test but brothers and sisters in faith listen to allah wasahibul hariqi Shaheed. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and a person who burned, who is burned to death, is a martyr. Ya Allah. The one who is burnt to, to death is a martyr. So we pray. May Allah accept them. Ya Allah, we love them. Ya Allah, you love them. And wa ma tasha'una illa an yasha Allah. Ya Allah, your judgment is the best. We believe in you. Ya Allah, your best your judgment is number one. We rely on you. Ya Allah, have mercy on them. Ya Allah, make them smile wherever they are. Ya Allah, Forgive them. Forgive them. My dear brother, as a community, as Muslims, what's next? What's next? What do we do? Number one, what you and I should do is to make dua for them. Always remember, make dua for them. Ask Allah to forgive them. Ask Allah to grant them Jannah. Ask Allah to accept them in his beautiful home. Ask Allah to accept them in the abode of peace. Darus Salaam. Ask Allah to accept them. Please. Make dua for them. Number two. They left family behind. They left 
children behind. They left family, relatives behind. Some parents died and left their children. Some the parents died and left their children and some mother, father, three children gone. One of the sisters was with me here three weeks ago in this masjid. Right here. We had a meeting about her son. She's gone. All she wanted, her son to memorize the Quran. All she was crying for, her son to memorize the Quran. So when I say I wanted to see her, she left whatever she was doing and she came and sat down and spoke. I spoke to her. Our Imam Silla spoke to her. When they finished, they came, we spoke. Like three weeks ago. And she is gone. They are gone. <laughs> They are gone. So brothers, what we should do as a community, as believers, as loved ones, as human beings, let's support that family. Let's support those people. Let's support our brothers and sisters. Whatever you can do for them, don't waste time. Please hurry up and do it and Allah will help you too. Whatever you can do. Whatever you can do, please rush. Go see them. Go and give them something. Whatever, no matter how small it is, Allah will accept. May Allah accept us all. What should we do? We make dua. What should we do? We should help the orphans. We should help the needy. We should help our brothers and sisters. وَأَنْفِقُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَلَا تُلْقُوا بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَى التَّهْلُكَةِ وَأَحْسِنُوا 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 إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Go and do good to those families Go and help those families. Go and do what's right. And Allah will also take good care of you. My dear brothers, what should we do next? Wherever you are living, please speak out. If the heating system is not good, report. Call the attention of the manager, the building manager. The caretaker. Call the attention of the landlord. Let them fix your heating system. They said it happened from a space heater. Because it's cold. And as you all know, that day was very cold. So if your heater is not good, you will try and get something from the store. And this is causing trouble. So please, brothers and sisters in faith, speak out. Let's talk. We have one thing. We don't talk. We don't talk and save life. By talking, you will save lives. Talk, report, so that they will fix your heating system. This is a painful death. Families are gone. We don't want this to repeat itself again. So we should try as much as we can to take all safety precautions. Please, as we heard from the fire department, stop overloading the extension wires. Anything that you know can cause fire. Please avoid that because people's life matter. <laughs> Human being is very important. No soul, no soul. Human being is very important. 
So please, let's make sure we take all safety precautions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi wa kifah. Wa salamun ala ibadihi alladhi nastafa. Brothers and sisters in faith, it is a test. أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون ولقد فتن الذين من قبلهم أحسب الناس أيتركوا Do people think they will just be left alone by saying we believe? أيتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون and we are not going to test them ولقد فتن الذين من قبلهم we tested those who came before them and with this فلا يعلم أن الله الذين صدقوا ولا يعلم أن الكاذبين it is a test we have been tested but brother and my dear sister, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Allahumma radina. Allahumma radina. May Allah forgive them. Ya Allah, make them smile wherever they are now. Ya Allah, we love them and you love them. And yours is the best. Ya Allah, grant them Jannah. Ya Allah, accept them in Jannah. Ya Allah, open the doors for Jannah for them. Ya Allah, forgive them their sins. Ya Allah, forgive them whatever they did before their death. Because you are Ar-Rahimu. You are Ar-Rahmanu. You are Al-Afuwu. Ya Allah, you love to forgive. Allah, forgive them. Ya Allah, when time comes for us to go, as we said, death is one. Wal asbabu kathira. Only Allah knows how I'm going to die. Am I going to die? Where? Where are you going to die? Only Allah knows. And how are you going to die? Only Allah knows. But what we pray for, whenever death comes, in whatever situation, we pray, may death meet us in a good state of Iman. And may Allah accept us when? While he loves us. May Allah accept us and make it easy for us to say, La ilaha illallah. Brothers, the Imams have come together, agreed, inshallah, on Sunday. The Janazah will be in our masjid, 166 streets. May Allah forgive them. If you have time. Let's go, inshallah, on that day, on Sunday, 10 o'clock, Islamic Culture Center. Let's meet there. Let's pray for them. Due to that, our schools, no schools until announced, inshallah. No schools, Saturday, Sunday schools. We are, inshallah, closed. It will be announced, inshallah, when we will return. We pray. May Allah forgive them. Allahumma kfil lahum warhamhum. Wa'afihim wa'af'anhum. Wa'akrim nuzulahum. Wa'assim wal-khalahum. Wa'aksirhum bil-ma'i wa'al-thalj wal-barad. Wa'naqihim min al-dhunubi wal-khataya kama yunaqa al-thawb al-abiyad min al-danas. Allahumma nawir kuburahum ya Allah. Allahumma nawir kuburahum. Allahumma nawir kuburahum. يا رحم الرحيمين اللهم اغفر لأبينا ومهاتنا وأجدادنا وجداتنا برحمتك يا مرحمين يا رب العالمين اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا وجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا وجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا وجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم إنا نسألك دوام العافية عافنا في ديننا ودنيانا ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا لي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا لي العظيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا ذاب النار صل اللهم وسلم وبارك على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وقوموا إلى صلاتكم